Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I will be doing an unboxing for Judge Dredd's The Miniatures Game City Defence Squad Ok guys, uh, also at the end of this video guys I'm going to have a vote for what you would like the next unboxing to be if my Shadows of Brimstone stuff hasn't turned up before I release this video and do some comments. So there might be some Shadows of Brimstone stuff afterwards, but I maybe a week's time, maybe two weeks time, I will be doing the, this video for this sort of vote. Okay, that said, let's turn... No, I might be able to, no, I have to turn the lights behind me because of the thing. Let's have a look at the front art for a minute. Now, I really do believe this actually comes uh, from one of the earlier comics. I'm not sure which case file I've seen it in, but I've definitely seen it in before. Um, again, I'm quite a big fan of the Judge Dredd uh, series. It's, you know, 2000 AD as well. I do like Slain, Nikolai Dante, ABC Warriors, you know, Stontium Dog, Rogue Trooper. I know was a part of 2000 AD, but I think they sold it on. I'm not sure if it still is. If it's not anymore, I can't remember, to be honest. I'm not sure if, um, is it Rebellion, the company that owns 2000 AD now? Anyway, okay, guys. Let's have a quick look at some other bits. Okay, this is made by Mongoose Publishing and Warlord Games. Let's have a quick look at the back. These are the models that you'll get in this set, which I'll be taking out in a minute for you to have a look at. Um, I know that's not their price anymore, because the price actually changed a little while ago. Okay, the typical view of the, of the SIT Defence Soldier is of a man who barely knows one end of a spit gun from the other and pumps pumped up on action vids on the try d attempt to live out his fantasy by joining the the only military option open to civilians in many cases this is re recommend remarkably accurate and that the city defense is is a source of contempt worry to the justice department for allowing civilians legal access to weapons so, surely counters disa counts disasters okay as again I'll show you sort of what you get on the back there let's open up the box and see what you get inside Okay, you don't have the little cardboard piece that you normally do. Okay, so that's actually, this is a bit different than how I remember the other ones. And I've got a feeling this is going to try and close on me all the time, so I'm going to have to do that for a minute and try and make sure not everything goes flying on me. Okay, well as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stands. You also, let me turn the light on behind me for a minute guys, sorry. You also get some other bits there, we'll have a look at them in a second. You also get that lovely bit of rubber. Okay, so let's have a look at the models themselves. Okay, so he's got a gas mask. He looks like he's, yeah, he's carrying a small knife. Or pistol. I'm guessing he's thinking he's like some, some form of commando. Let's have a quick turn over on the back bit here and see what that says. Yeah, it's a commando. Oh, okay. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm assuming that's, yeah, that's definitely the medic. Yep, you can see the uh, Red Cross looking a bit lost and confused. But the model itself does look good. I do have to say. Well, it seems picking up the ones that actually have got the weapons already uh, in their hands. Okay, I'm guessing this is just uh, with a spit gun. Again, the helmets don't look too bad. I have to say, the casting on these aren't aren't too bad compared to like some models I've seen and stuff like that. Um, Okay, yeah, nice little bit of a, 
I do have to say, I do quite like these. Another one, obviously, with a spit gun. Trying to grab the ones that will hold first. I'm guessing this is their commander. I'm not sure if he reminds me of um, one of the ones that did. Uh, I don't know if there was a story in one of the earlier case files where they go into the sewers. Oh, I'm guessing he's he's meant to be holding something. I'm not sure if that was the person in charge who was meant to be doing some training in the sewers, and there was this giant crocodile that ate some of them. Judge Dredd saved them. Um, again, does look good. The model needs a bit of cleaning up. Let's have a look over here. Okay, so oh, there's another one, but obviously a dual wielding two machine gun, two uh, weapons. Again, it looks like an old riding helmet, you know, like the old motorcycle helmets they're wearing. Still haven't got around to actually having a game of Judge Dredd yet. Um, I haven't bought anything new for it for a long time either. Guessing that's the one that has the rocket launcher. Yeah. Again, you know, I'll bring it in a bit. It's not bad detail on these models, if I'm honest. And the pads look all right. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the bazooka arm. Again, yeah. Don't look too bad. Nothing overly uh, spectacular about that. Okay, I think there's two weapon options here by the looks of it, or it could be a radio on someone's back, I'm not sure. Um, if I was going to pick any, I'd probably pick that one because that don't look too bad. That other bit there, if that's a heavy weapon, just looks a bit of a mess if I'm honest compared to like everything else we've seen here. Um, so yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that is the City Defence Squadron. Let me just move this all over here for a second. Okay. What I want to ask you guys now is I've got, I want to have a vote on what would you like my next video, my next unboxing video be. Would you like it to be Conflict 47's Allied M8 Grizzly Medium Assault Walker? Warhammer Quest's Silver Towers Expansion Pack, The Arcane Heroes. Bolt Actions, it's half track basically, but it is the Hammer Omega half track. Batman's, the miniatures game, Joker's Daughter. Or Super Dungeon Explorers, Kelly Never Stalker, Strider, sorry. I think I said that right. Please, leave, please in the comments below, let me know which one of those you would like me to do as one of my other unboxings. You know, if the Shadows of Brimstone stuff hasn't turned up by the time I do this uh, video. Uh, hopefully it will be done within the next week or two. Probably two, to be honest. I've got a few things coming up next weekend. Um, so yeah. Well, guys, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. If you like to subscribe to my channel, again, please do. Um, I don't know what's happened in the last year, but I seem to have got an extra over 100 subscribers. And all I want to say to you guys is thank you, because it's you guys that are really helping me. Um, I am just hope I'm doing things right for you guys. Um, I'm planning on doing some more Shadows of Brimstone Adventures. Uh, group 3 will be going into, again, doing the first adventure, unfortunately, guys. But what I like about Shadows of Brimstone is everything is different. You know, every time you go in, it's very rare you're going to end up with a mission that's similar to one you had not long ago. Especially with the amount of cards I have. Um, and other bits. Again, if there's any other games I've played that you'd like me to maybe uh, do, a, as long as they're single player, that is, guys, maybe do a game of that. 
just let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, again, I hope you're all having a good day. I've had a good day, so I hope you are too. Goodbye.